Welcome to Bed Bug Awareness, written and produced by The Training Factor. Hello, my name is Cmex Lectilarius. You probably don't recognize my name, but I'm sure you've heard of me. Those whom I'm closest to also know me by my nickname of Bed Bug. <laughs> now, do you recognize me? If you don't, you will soon. If you pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you, I feel certain we can have a mutual understanding on how to handle me. You might not know I'm around until I leave my clothes, also known as my exoskeleton, laying around in the folds of your sheets or mattress after I molt. You might recognize the sweet, musty odor I leave behind because I can't use deodorant. I'm also a night owl, but don't get me wrong, I am always looking for a good time, regardless of what time it is. I am well-traveled because my slim, flat body allows me to fit into the smallest of spaces and allows me to travel for long periods of time. I can even miss a meal or two on occasion. I don't even have to pay for my travel because I travel in the seams and folds of luggage, overnight bags, folded clothes, bedding, furniture, or wherever I choose to hitch a ride. If you choose to ignore me or go against what I am telling you, the outcome will be a failure on your part. My checklist of demands is simple. Thank you in advance for your undivided attention. Sincerely, Simex. Get your attention? Bedbugs, also known as Simix lectilarius, have been infesting sleeping areas and feasting on humans for thousands of years, according to the Mayo Clinic. This course should leave you crawling with ideas on what to look for and how to address the issue before it becomes a problem. Section 1. What are bedbugs? According to the CDC, bedbugs are small, flat, parasitic insects that feed solely on the blood of people and animals while they sleep. Bedbugs are reddish-brown in color, wingless, range from about 1 mm to 7 mm, roughly the size of Lincoln's head on a penny, and can live several months without a blood meal. Where are you likely to find bedbugs? Bedbugs can usually be found in the areas where people are likely to sleep. Their infestations include, but are certainly not limited to, apartments, school dormitories, nursing homes, shelters, hotels, cruise ships, trains, and buses. During the day, they usually hide in places such as bed frames, box springs, mattresses, sofa frames, cracks, crevices, or other areas of clutter around the bed. They can travel over 100 feet in a night, but usually live within 8 feet of sleeping areas. At night, they begin their journey seeking out sources of food. How do you prevent bites? Cover up. Because bed bugs don't tend to burrow under clothing, you may be able to avoid bites by wearing pajamas that cover as much skin as possible. Bug spray. Insect repellents designed to protect against mosquitoes or ticks aren't very effective against bed bugs. Mosquito netting. Some studies indicate that bed nets impregnated with the pesticide permethrin may help protect sleepers against bed bug bites. However, this practice may be helping bed bugs develop resistance to this pesticide. Section 9 Bed Bug Myths and Facts. All right, let's play a little game. Identify if the following statements are myths or reality. Myth or reality, you can't see a bed bug. Right, this is a myth. The reality is that you should be able to see adult bed bugs, nymphs, and eggs with your naked eye. Myth or reality, bed bugs live in dirty places. That's not correct, this is a myth. The reality is that bed bugs are not attracted to dirt and grime. They are attracted to warmth, blood, and carbon dioxide. However, clutter does offer more hiding spots.